Hey guys, I'm Bob and I'm here in the workout area of my shed and this video will talk about unboxing and assembling the York Pro Barbell Support which I've used now for more than a year so the actual unboxing and assembling that I did was over a year ago but um, it will help anyone else who has to uh, put it together um, it's real quick to do but I think this video should help you out if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments, and um, I hope you enjoy the video. So I just received my Pro Series Barbell Support Station, and um, it doesn't include the bench, which you can see in the middle there. It includes the su two supports on the side um, I can use for benching and also... I can use for squatting as well. So um, you can see I already have a bench I got from York Barbell and um, I'm very excited about putting this together. So uh, I just kind of popped open the box so that I can just open it up at this point. And uh, so here we go. So here are the materials inside the box. Uh, we have a little uh, diagram of how everything goes together. Looks pretty straightforward. There's a bunch of hardware in here. Um, which are basically bolts with uh, handles, looks like. Well, there's also separate bolts. but. Um, Looks pretty straightforward. Everything is uh, appears to be solidly built. Here are the uprights for the bars. There's the other one right here. Um, really, not a lot of pieces involved here. So what I'm going to do is take them out of the box now and um, kind of lay them out on the ground. So I took everything out of the box and kind of dry fit everything um, that's all the hardware right there which um, you know we have a total of eight bolts um, and nuts and uh, I checked in a 9 16 inch um, socket will work fine um, the back piece is uh, you just slide these into the back piece and you see there's a bunch of holes and so it's adjustable you can move it side to side which is awesome um, and bolts go in there as well uh, the these bolts here go as you can see in the directions they go from from the the outside in so they go from the outside in here and then these are the bolts that go in from there so this is everything is dry fit I haven't uh, actually attached anything yet um, these are the front pieces these are the actual bars that will help you when you're benching um, or going to failure they will support the bar if you can't make it the whole way um, these are the supports for the actual bar itself if you're going to do squats or benches these go up much higher than this um, I can actually take this out it goes down like that but it can go up a long way this is how far it goes up and I will measure that but you know I'm not six foot four so um, this will be perfect for for my needs. Um, all I did so far is I put these end caps on. I took these out and pounded in these end caps right into here. Did one there and one over there. So um, there's also a couple of bars here where you can actually put your weights on. 
the end here to stabilize the unit. Uh, same here. So everything is adjustable. You, you can adjust it going up and down for height. You can adjust these. There are one, two, three, four, five, six different holes, uh, which is great. I'm going to uh, put this in for now and lift this up a little. And these just, this basically slide in. Um, I'll move those up in a bit. But the back is adjustable side to side, so you can move it this way or you can have it narrower. This is a perfect size for my workout area. I have a kind of a nice um, York barbell bench over here. It should work fine in this scenario. So I'm gonna put in my bolts now to stabilize the bottom. Um, I read one of the reviews and they said that it took them about 10 minutes to get this thing set up. I think it's going to take a little bit longer if you film it, but uh, let me uh, secure all these bolts and then uh, we'll get back to a couple of small additions like there's some kind of screw handles here, right here, and there's some end caps over here that will just place uh, different places. I'm sure one goes there and one goes there. So let me um, actually attach the bolts to secure these arms because they're a little flimsy at the moment. You also want to make sure you have this threaded piece on the outside. Same over here. This threaded piece on the outside. And I think it's used to stabilize the bar, you use these, it'll stabilize the upright support. So you just screw those in. I'm just gonna leave it there for now. And I'll put the other one in. Granted, I haven't even put the bolts in yet, but pretty straightforward. These are the shorter ones. Just to stabilize this um, support once you have it in the spot you want it. So let me add the bolts and just so I get everything stabilized um, on the ground. So I just slid in all of the bolts from the outside uh, for the bottom two pieces. I didn't tighten them yet. Make sure you put in all the bolts first before you start tightening them down because you might have to push it down slightly so that they all fit. But uh, So now I'm going to actually add the nuts, these eight nuts right here, onto the end of these bolts and use my socket set to tighten. So to attach these bolts, you're going to need like an open end wrench for one end and a socket on the other end just to tighten them up. So I just tightened down all of these bottom bolts um, so that the two supports are stabilized. Same over here. It's pretty solid now. I haven't even um, secured anything in the back yet. So that'll be... Uh, Probably what I'll do next. So I decided um, I'll put these two end caps on the front piece here. One goes in like that, and the other goes in like this. And um, I just use a, a hammer. Um, that should work fine. These in there nice. I did the same with these pieces here while this thing was out. These are those those pieces right there. I did one here as well. So those are on. So one thing that's great about the back or this whole unit 
is that it's variable so you can make it wider or you can make it less wide and there's all these um, holes there's a bunch of holes underneath here these holes here too so to support I'm just gonna pick this width for now I might change it once I start benching or squatting um, so it's I'm leaving you know one and a half um, holes there on this side so these longer kind of handles with a screw on it there's threaded right here and it's threaded right there so there's a hole right there that I'm going down into and then I'm just screwing it in so that is securing this back piece from moving and the same thing on this side there's another one and I'm just screwing this in as well and you can unscrew those and make it wider or make it thinner um, which is great because with a cage it's not easy to do these barbell supports do it for us which is awesome um, so I think everything is stabilized right now um, there are a number of these caps that uh, all of these things get added to the to the bolts uh, to cover up the bolts and these cover up you know this area here actually anything that's open like that those don't fit these are a little bigger these go here pretty secure and I'll do the same for this cap the caps in the back um, the one on the other side as well and there are a bunch of these caps here that are I assume they're for the bolts and so we're almost ready to actually put the put my bar, my Olympic size, seven foot Olympic size bar, up here on this stanchion. So I had a few extra end caps here and I realized that they had to go on these two support ends, one here and one over here, um, which I'll put on in a moment and then slide it in to the back. And the same thing over there, so slide those out and add those end caps and slide them back in. So now those two end caps are here and here and it does help actually stabilize the back. So then I can put these back in and screw them down. And I'm gonna do the same thing over there. I'll slide it out, put these two end caps on and then just slide it back in. So now the um, the end caps are secured here and here and there and there. And there's some black um, kind of end caps as well and some silver. And uh, the black, if you look at the directions, um, they're secured on the ends of these these bars here so one will go there I'll pop that on later one will go at the bottom and the same on the other side and these silver ones will go in here and one here one on the other side one here one on the other side so I'll pop them on shortly. So here's what the final setup looks like. Uh, I think I'm going to have to adjust the supports to be in slightly because they're really pegged right at the end of my uh, collars on my seven foot Olympic bar. But that'll take, you know, lift that, get the bar off, um, unscrew those two screws down there, those handles. And just slide them in, maybe another peg 
and we should be golden. But this is this will be the final setup. I'll be able to bench, and then I can move up these stanchions higher to do squats. Uh, and everything will be safe because at failure, I'll have these uh, supports that will get the bar instead of uh, killing me. So I just added all the end caps. These are plastic, and you just basically hammer them in right here, right here at the end, um, over here in the back, and uh, under here as well. You can see that. Same thing on the other side, right here, the end caps and the other sides as well. And so uh, I'm all set up to go. Um, this is a perfect setup for me. Um, everything seems to be aligned nicely. Um, I tried benching and it's great having the supports right here. A perfect I can if I go to failure on the bench I can um, just put the put the bar right on those two supports and and I can just get right out from underneath and uh, I'll show that in another video but I'm psyched I can now finally bench and squat in here um, and I'll probably start doing that tomorrow but for the money, I think this is a great buy. Um, I'll leave the link in the description if you're interested. If you have any questions, please ask.